So the decorators, oh, that's a great question. So decorators are specific to TypeScript um, in my understanding. And for those who mm -hmm. aren't aware or know what decorators are, essentially they're a way to decorate the code. So, um, and actually I, I think this might be a great time to actually show some Angular code. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do mind. it. Let me do a little screen sharing and I'll pull up some Angular code and we'll take a look. So um, a decorator, which you'll tend to find in a Angular application is going to actually allow you to do functions or things on that code that you normally wouldn't be able to do without defining a reference to something. So great example here, um, we have our app module, which is our kind of main module for Angular. And actually, let me do this. Let me expand this and go into the, the app component because the app component here has um, a decorator. So looking at this, um, at line 11, we have this export function and we have a class. And on top of that, we have this component decorator that's saying that, hey, whenever this class app component is built or rendered, we want to make sure it's tied to app root, which is one of our other classes, and that we use the app component template and that we use the style URL. And you normally would not be able to do this um, in JavaScript is my understanding. And actually, I don't, I'm not an expert here because I don't use as much JavaScript. <laughs> I, I'm but, pretty sure what you're saying is, is valid there. I'm pretty sure yeah, that that yeah. decorator is specific to TypeScript. Yep. And what's interesting about this is that you see this also in, in C sharp. So um, once again, there's certain languages just because of the way that they're written or they're built that support this concept of a decorator in them. So in this example for um, C sharp, which like I said, is kind of like a, uh, a, the reason that uh, Angular and also um, C sharp are, are both preferred languages, I grew up and I came up as a developer um, working in this kind of object-oriented programming manner. So what that really just means is that you have a class. In this case, this is going to be my account controller. And this is my app component, right? Um, but what you'll notice is that the syntax is just a little different, but the same thing applies. So if we look at it in the C-sharp, what we're saying as a decorator is that, hey, whenever somebody navigates to our our URL, maybe api.cardcraft.io forward slash API, and then forward slash the name of this controller, we want that code to come into this class, right? And in this case, we see a couple of other decorators, meaning that not only do we want it to go in the API forward slash controller, but then we also want the logout user code to call this, this code meaning that if you were to hit my endpoint right now with logout user, it's going to come in here. So this is something that's inherent just because of the way that the language is designed. Whereas with JavaScript, I'm not so sure you actually have um, decorators in the sense that I've been used to with, with C sharp and also with, with TypeScript. So um, there may be a JavaScript expert or someone else on the chat who, who may be able to kind of um, correct me there, but um, that's kind of what a decorator is for those who don't know what a decorator is. And um, what's nice about it is that it's a really easy way to add code or, or tell the code how it should kind of be func to function without necessarily having to write a lot of extra code. And in this case, for example, we also have this with a HTTP post decorator, which just means that, look, the only um, time we should respond when this endpoint is called is if it's an HTTP post. So no gets, no deletes, only HTTP posts, and only when somebody calls this logout user route. Okay. That makes that makes sense. That makes sense. So I guess you know, use TypeScript. Everybody should be using TypeScript. That's that's the takeaway. I do. I do. Yes. <laughs> uh <laughs>